Well, this is something of a televisual first, a face-to-face -face encounter between the business secretary and his shadow, uh, Ken Clark, shadow business secretary, and uh, Lord Mandelson um, for the government. Uh, Peter Mandelson, um, why hasn't the economy recovered more strongly? Well, thankfully, the economy now uh, is in positive growth. As the Chancellor said, it would take place at the turn of the year. It has, but it remains fragile. And what we've got to do now uh, is to lock in the recovery and not but, put but away... this is a dreadful figure. Well... 0.1%. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's positive growth. The recession is behind us, and as most business people will tell you up and down the country, uh, the improvement has been stronger during the last quarter uh, than I think these figures suggest. But what's important is locking it in rather than pulling away the government's support of the economy, as the Conservatives would do. We also need to generate more confidence in the economy rather than uh, talk it down, as David Cameron keeps on uh, doing. But we also need to maintain the government's particular investment uh, in manufacturing, the new technologies, growing markets and sectors yes, but you mentioned that are going to drive our economy, economy's growth in the future and where the future jobs are going to come from. So we should not be withdrawing that support for the economy either. Ken Clark, um, it, it's not quite what people were expecting. It's not. I, I thought it would be weak, but I thought it would be a little more than this. It could not be smaller. I mean, I welcome the fact we have growth, but anything less would have been catastrophe. I mean, disaster. We're already the last developing country to come out, a developed country to come out of the recession. We're just, just showing growth, and it shows how fragile everything is. And uh, this has got to be turned into real growth. We're all agreed on that. We have to prepare to actually get back to some normality. The important point, and I just want to pick this up from what Ken said, because I agree with him, the recovery is fragile. And okay. therefore, we must, at all costs, not take risks. We mustn't kick away the support that the government gives to sustaining demand in the economy by making sort of sudden and swinging cuts in government spending and uh, investment. Now, Peter Ken, Mandelson has Ken, just Ken quoted was... exactly what you said in the Sunday Times. Yeah, and I agree with him. Exactly no, he, what no, you he, said no, in the Sunday Times. No, no, he's yes. not. I, I said you have to start cutting straight away. That's what I, uh, George I said. George well, and no, Philip will have cooperative <laughs> colleagues, but their duty is to make yeah. sure we don't, yes. by mistake, yeah. make damaging and unsupportive cuts. I was explaining yeah. how we start. I also said we should start straight away. Yeah. And my, I, I actually do believe we have to start straight away. But how can we talk about cuts think, straight away when, when, when yeah, these we, figures are entirely dependent on government spending? No, they're not entirely dependent on government spending. The growth, the growth and, the, and the plateauing has been achieved largely because of low interest rates, largely because of the massive amounts of liquidity being injected by the bank. The bank can't do that for much yeah. longer. I also, hope Ken, also, no, no, also no, let me answer the point yeah, about, yeah, about cuts. Peter Manson, let, let's, well, I was going to say that we've also come out of this recession more strongly because unemployment didn't climb uh, to the levels that people expected, as, as it had done in the recessions of the true, 90s and 80s. Yeah, that is true, because people are keeping labour and people are cooperating by freezing their wages and so on. The average, yeah, member, of the public, the the average member of the public is not real hanging heroes. the bell and bunting out and ringing bells. Yeah, their real living standards, as we know today, no. have actually been declining no, the people who are the real heroes, during the stress. The people who are the real heroes of this recession are the businesses that have cut costs but survived, the employees who have taken cuts in their working hours and their, and their incomes in order to help their businesses get through. But the truth is that as a result of this and the government's uh, support, business failures and insolvencies uh, are, are half what they were in the recession of the 1990s and uh, housing repossessions also are at half the rate. Now this means, this is a very important point, because it means the economy has emerged more strongly and more intact than many people feared or predicted at the beginning of this crisis. Is that true, Ken Clark? Is that true? No, it's not. It's the, it's, the weakest, it's the longest, deepest recession we've had. We're the last country of the Western world to emerge, and everybody else is well ahead of us in North But our North interest rates are low, the unemployment is low. These are points... The unemployment, for reasons we've given, has not gone up as much as we feared. Interest rates are low because the independent governor of the bank has made them low, and he can only keep them there if, if government borrowing doesn't drive them up. So, let, let, let me deal um, with this cutting. Well, Point. The difference between you're saying business failures. Well, business failures are, are not as great in this recession. Now, that's partly, as I say, no, no. because of the efforts made by businesses, but also because the government helped cash flow uh, by giving people time to pay their taxes. 
these are fringe now, things, They're not Peter. fringe things, they're very and important And you're splitting hairs things. on the statistics, the number of companies I'm, that have gone bust. I'm trying not to. It was, uh, the, 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 the rate uh, is, uh, no, it's the other way around, the rate uh, is high. Let us not split hairs. I'm the trying key not difference, to split hairs. The key difference between us is you reckon that continuing to increase public spending and continuing to increase public yeah. borrowing is somehow well, important, which is what you're doing. That is nonsense. Let me make an observation. Well, do you think there would have been... Would there, would there, would there, have, been, would there have been 0.1% growth without that action? Probably, probably, because I think what the bank has done is far more important than this. What's called fiscal stimulus is actually keeping spending going up to an election. Let, let's just cut to the quick, because yeah. the quick is that it was Gordon Brown who said that Britain is in a uniquely well-placed position to come out of a recession. That, that, this gives the lie to that, doesn't it? No, I don't think it does in the least, but let me take up the point, because we're having a debate here, take up the point that uh, Ken uh, has made. Of course we have to focus on uh, reducing the, uh, def the financial deficit, and of course we have to pay back debt. No nobody is questioning whether we have to do that, it's how and when. And, and if after we, the election. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, look, I've already taken... Well, I've to die. I've taken He's reductions. Saying this is going to be a very, very painful Worse period. for 20 years. Uh, 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 of course, but the question is this, when? Now, uh, yeah. I much prefer uh, uh, Ken Clark's views uh, than the views... My views are, you start now. ...than the views he gets from his central office uh, no, script. No, not central and office. Well, cutting and, now, he's, and, just, and what, he's just said what, that is actually the Conservative what, position. That's what I said on Sunday. No, well, we all read very carefully what no, you said you on Sunday, and I'm so sure George Osborne Sunday. was listening in particular. But the point, I think, uh, is this. If we're not careful and we start making swinging cuts in government spending and investment before the recovery is locked in, we will not be trimming back the branches of public spending. We will be cutting the roots of our future economic growth. That would be a fatal miscall, a fatal misjudgment. And I'm afraid it is precisely the one that George Osborne uh, and David Cameron are walking into. Not Ken Clark. He doesn't agree mm, with this. I do agree. But, I but agree. the others are in danger of walking straight into this trap, and it would be a disaster for us economically in the future. If we give way to siren calls at this 20-year record-breaking cuts can be postponed for a bit longer till after the election, then what will happen is interest rates will but be driven Ken, up, the governor will not be able to hold them, yeah. we will have the double-dip recession we, we have for said, political reasons. No, 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 sorry, I, I want to move on. Sorry, we've, I, said, we've, we've said precisely, off what we've, has said, to be done we've said precisely, to the Chancellor set it better. out in the pre-budget report, he'll do so again in the budget. When the deficit reduction will take place, how it will be halved over he four years. Any yes, he has. At He's given a darn sight more detail than anything we've heard from George. No, 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 that's not. Let, let, let me take you back to this salient thought, which is that Germany and France are both in growth. The small, yeah. but that, we know the why that's yeah, the case. But low that, deficit, gives, low that does give the lie that in some way Britain is better placed than anybody else to come out of it. We yeah. are the worst in the G8, yeah. bar Japan. I don't agree with that because our unemployment is lower. Uh, our businesses uh, are, are more intact. Our basic economic capabilities have been much less damaged during the, the course of this recession growth, than any. Than, no, the yardstick no, is no, growth, no, no, and our growth no, no. is anemic <laughs> the yard, compared with the Germany yardstick. and France. I'm afraid the yardstick uh, are the basic capabilities, business startups, and growth uh, uh, of those businesses, which are going to produce our future uh, increased GDP. So, so when now, Mr Cameron did not mention growth in his conference speech, you were fully with him. Growth no, doesn't matter. Of course it ma matters, John, but the question is how we achieve that growth. We don't achieve growth by talking about it. We, talk of, we, we achieve it, uh, for example, by giving priority to private sector investment. Well, that, that's why we are not going uh, to uh, reduce the capital and investment allowances uh, for industry and for businesses, oh, as the Conservatives are calling them. Ken Clark, are, are, are we the worst this, economy in the We, we are the worst affected but in why the is that we're, irrelevant? We're no, no, don't keep interrupting me. I listen patiently yeah. to all this slightly irrelevant nonsense, Peter, you were going out with. Why is investment we, irrelevant? We, 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 have, we have minuscule growth. We have the biggest deficit. We have the yeah. biggest, fastest rising but, debt. Now, that's not a coincidence. It, it, you won't have growth if you crush it okay. with this deficit, if this debt, right. if that turns into higher interest rates. Uh, and we've the covered that already. is higher interest rates. We haven't covered yes, it properly. Yes, Your afraid, We're totally on false this. arguments. We're agreed on this. We're I not agree agreed you. on this. Yes, we are. You, are, you want for electoral purposes <laughs> to put off tackling the deficit. Okay. 
till after okay. the election We're both, and run the risk we, of crushing growth. I don't think you believe that actually if it wasn't for the election we should put it off. You know perfectly well, as Alistair keeps we, warning, we, we have serious cuts to make. The more you delay, the more you run the risk of Britain crawling along at 0.1%, where the French and the Germans grow faster, and they don't have the debt, they don't have the deficit to hold them back now. Well, don't or you to owe the electorate a little bit of candor here? Alistair Dar